Some of you may have noticed construction happening in Myrtle Beach's Arts and Innovation District. Well, you'll soon get to see some fruits from all that labor. Our Logan Skijano spoke with officials who say they've accomplished a lot, but there's more to come thanks to a key new batch of funds. Crews have been working hard in Myrtle Beach's Arts and Innovation District for just over a year now, upgrading underground pipes and sewer systems that have been in place for almost a century. We're doing larger, bigger lines, water and sewer lines, electrical lines. We're upgrading everything in size and capacity. The city's director of infrastructure project management says growth in the area makes these improvements necessary. We have a lot of new uh, a lot of new commercial and residential buildings coming into the district and the current infrastructure that's in the ground cannot support that. They've also built a new stormwater pond and pump station, but the work is really only just beginning. Last week, City Council approved an ordinance with 16.5 million dedicated to the next round of work in the Arts and Innovation District. All the stuff that you see on the surface of the road wasn't funded. With the passing of this bond, it is now funded and the project's 100% completely funded. One of the projects of the next phase is to improve this intersection where 9th Avenue North meets Oak Street. The city says the way it's currently constructed with five points of traffic and just one stoplight makes it quite dangerous. If you ever had the time to go through that intersection, it's very confusing and it's just not practical anymore with the amount of volume of traffic we have in the city. Miller says they'll reroute the roads to form a T, widen the sidewalks, add bike lanes and more parking to the the area across the district. Other work will include redoing the landscaping and adding more of these permeable pavers, which allows the rainwater to seep back into the ground. It does not allow it to run down the roadway into a catch basin or a stormwater pond. While it may seem overwhelming, Miller says it will all pay off in the end. If you would just bear with us for a few months, we'll be in and out of your way and we'll give you years of, of enjoyment after that with no construction whatsoever. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Logan Schijano, WMBF News.